Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to uh, record a video today about a function within uh, Caden Live's color correction settings that I discovered uh, yesterday. Thought it was really, really useful and want to just pass on the information slash tip. I uh, want to point out as well, I am a Caden Live rookie myself. At the moment, I'm using it uh, probably more days than not because I'm on kind of a push at the moment. I'm learning video, I'm uh, learning video editing. I'm trying to really improve the, uh, this YouTube channel and getting more into it uh, by the day. So I'm doing a lot of work in Caden Life and something I'm doing or I've started doing is a color, basic color correction. Uh, you know, if, if I take, have some footage and the colors just look a bit off or the lighting looks a bit off, I can do some adjustments in post-production um, in order to make that look better. And for my particular camera, the Femi Pam 2 that I'm starting to shoot a lot of video with, I find that the day and nighttime performance is so variable that I often have to do some of that color correction on the footage I take um, as the sun is going down or as the sun's already gone down. In, in other words, the low light footage, I'm doing a bit of work on that. So let's jump into uh, Caden here. And I'm just gonna, this is just a completely random clip um, I pulled in from my uh, media drive here. Let's just look through it firstly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, cut it here. Um, something I do find really useful in Caden Live is uh, custom keyboard shortcuts, or I've started using them a ton as well. All right, so I've cut that in two. Now let's say I want to apply some uh, color correction onto the first part of this clip. Now the one I'm using as a rookie for my basics, etc., cetera, is uh, lift, gamma, and gain. Um, I find this really helpful. So I'm just kind of dragging that down. And now I have my three wheels for lift, gamma, and gain, and I have my three brightness meters on the side. Uh, you know, ranging and ranging all the way from fully dark here, 0 0.000, up to 3.7 is as far as it'll go here. Now that's starting to look completely crazy. Uh, okay, so let's do some, uh, you know, just edits to this clip. I've already, the gain is way too high and it's look, starting to look kind of very glary and weird. Um, you know, let's just say we can play around with these um, a bit. Or let's go for something a little bit more adventurous. Let's say we want to uh, color the footage red, so that it's it's you know it's one of those kind of uh, kitschy murder scenes where the protagonist world goes red for a second, and uh, we don't want to shoot that with an actual uh, uh, lens tint lens tinted lens filter on the camera. We want to do it in post production. So uh, let's take a look at this footage here of walking into I don't know it's it's a supermarket I think, and um, I'm gonna just bring this down to just try and get rid of that stuff a little bit okay it's starting to there uh, it's a battle anyway all right so let's now um turn the gamma towards the red setting and now you can see in my project monitor on the right that clip has now got this kind of red tint to it so um, let's say I wanted to use this uh, color correction, this lift gamma gain setting for multiple clips throughout this uh, project. So one way to do that, I can copy and paste the effect. The way to do this is to do control C. And again, why I mentioned that uh, keyboard shortcuts and Caden Live being so useful is I've configured a custom one uh, for pasting the effects. Control B is what I have it on my computer. So without even touching the context menu, I can just move up here and go uh, control B. And now as you can see, uh, I've dropped on the uh, any effects. Now I'm not sure if there's a way to just paste a particular effect or if you have to paste every effect on that clip. Um, so that's why it's less useful to me in some circumstances because I have to like paste a couple of effects and then delete a fade or something like that. Um, but that's one way to do it. So you can see now I have that red tint of the footage uh, throughout this entire clip. Now let's just delete this from uh, the second clip and now it's just on the first. So another thing I can do, and that's what I wanted to show in this video, is uh, create a preset. So the way to do this is let's use the same settings. So let's say I really like these and I'm, oh, this looks great for this camera in this lighting setting. And I think I'm going to want to use this exact few uh, settings again. And that's kind of what I found this useful for is, as I said, if you have a kind of uh, constant problem with a camera, not really a problem, just something that could look a little bit better in a certain light condition and you've just kind of nailed exactly uh, what settings will uh, will fix that, let's say. So, okay, what I'm going to do now is go up to the top. You can see there is an eye icon for uh, visibility. 
Next to that, there is a setting icon and you wouldn't know that it's a preset icon until you click it. And you can click save preset. I'm gonna call this red tint. And now I've created a preset. Now what, what that has done has, it saved the RGB settings on all three of lift gamma and gain as well as the brightness settings. So basically six numbers in total. And it's saved a preset and that can that can be applied so let's go now to the second clip here i can go and add lift gamma again i'm just going to drag and drag and drop that onto the clip and now instead of doing the exact same thing i can click on this and i can click into red tint and as you can see it's the same color correction settings on the first and the second half of this clip now uh, there's just just a couple more things to for the sake of completion to show here Firstly, if you want to update the preset, you can do that. So let's say I want to take off lift gamma gain on the first part of this clip. So now the first part is as it came out of the camera. And on the second part, we've got this kind of weird red coloration going on. So what I can do is uh, move, let's say I want to just make it even more red. So now it's really, really red, okay? I've just kind of shifted towards red on gamma. So what I can do now is go back up to the top and click red tints. Sorry, I needed to be in there from, from the start. So go into the preset, then make your changes to the preset, then go back up to presets, and then click on update current preset. And now it's, um, so now that's con configured to save presets. So what I can do is go lift gamma gain. I'm going to go into the first clip and I click on presets and I click on red tint. And now you can see the updated preset has applied there, it's just, it's a lot more red than the first adjustment we did, and that's now throughout. Uh, final thing you can do is because I don't want to actually save this preset, I'm gonna go back to it. Because I don't want to actually save this preset, I can uh, delete preset here, and now that preset is no longer available, but it's still going to be left on the first clip because it was saved, and now it's just kept these, it's kept the original settings. Let's say I wanted to create a new preset instead of going all the way to red, uh, I want to go all the way to, whoops. There we go. I want to go all the way to green. So what I can do is click on presets, save preset and say green tint. Okay. I went for tine instead, that was a typo. And now I can go on to the first clip and click into green tint and now that's been tinted green. So these, uh, these, this ability to uh, save color correction presets and apply them to clips is a really, really useful way. As I said, if you're using the same few settings a bunch of times, uh, this can definitely speed up the process. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to get more videos, please uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel.